welcome back to the channel. I hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. So I'm in my kitchen today, guys, because I'm going to show you how you can garden without spending any money. How you can start a garden with zero dollars, right? So you're, you're kind of panicking, you're running around to the stores trying to find some seeds. The seeds are gone, okay? Everybody got them. Everybody wants to be a gardener this year, okay? Well, everybody wants to be a gardener now. All right, so you can't find anything or you're stuck, right? You're quarantined, you can't go out. But you really want to try to get something growing because you, you've been thinking about it. It's good for you, it's good for your family. You believe that you should be growing your own food or you should be taking um, full responsibility for providing food for your family, right? And you wanna grow something and get started. You're not too late, it's definitely enough time. And if you don't have seeds and you haven't ordered them and they haven't come in the mail, because guess what? A lot of the seed companies are not shipping out seeds right now. They, because of the, um quarantine situation the sales have just boosted up and they are just either sold out or they have they're just overwhelmed and they're stopping at this moment so it's hard to buy seeds online even now so i got you i got you covered nope no worries let's not panic we're gonna turn around right behind me here i'm going to show you what you can find in your refrigerator i'm going to show you what you can find in your cabinets and in your pantry and in your spice cabinet to actually start you a garden and we're going to do it without spending any money so let's jump into it all right guys so right away i see a tomato here's a pepper and you know what here's an onion that is trying to regrow so we're gonna pull these things out of the fridge all right all right guys so here we have one of my cabinets here that doubles as like a pantry for me and here i have a basket in here pull out basket of beans. Alright, so I don't type of beans. Let's see what else is in here. That's rice. And these are pinto and black beans. So let's pull the basket out and see what else we can find. All right, guys, so here we have our vegetables from the fridge. And as you can see, this is a bell pepper. And what I've done is taken that bell pepper and sliced it open. And when I do that, you get all these, all these seeds on the inside of the pepper. So just take the seed, cut the seeds out. Okay, keep your bell pepper, but take all your seeds. Now this is a lot of plants, so you wouldn't plant all of these, but you would just keep them for, keep them for later, because you won't need all of these seeds, but you will need some of them. So if you're sowing seeds for yourself, you may want to plant two plants or something like that. If you're sowing seeds for a family of two, four, plant one plant per person or two plants per person if you can in a pot. And all right, so then, so you have all these wonderful, wonderful seeds. I'm going to, I'm going to take like a paper plate and I'm gonna let these seeds dry out a little bit. Keep them nice and dry, don't let them get wet. And let them just dry out on this plate, okay? And then they'll be ready to plant once they're nice and dry. So then we have the same thing with this tomato. I'm gonna cut the tomato open, okay? And we have seeds. So inside of the tomato are all of those beautiful seeds now hopefully this is a 
<laughs> not a hybrid tomato. This is a heirloom tomato. Like this is a Roma tomato. So this should be just fine to use. And I'm just gonna take all my little seeds out. Now, normally what I do when I'm getting um, saving seed from a fruit like this, um, I'll put it in like a little jar. But you, you may not have those jars laying around and might not be available to you right now. So I'm gonna show you what you could do instead. So if you don't have a jar, don't have a jar, you can take anything like a little bowl or a cup or anything like that. And but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna rinse these seeds out. So I'm gonna take a little strainer and put the seeds in here like this. Okay, Let's see if I can pick up that last one. All right, so now I'm going to go over here and rinse them with some water. All right, so I'm taking my seeds in there and I'm just rinsing them off. And I'm gonna wash all of that jelly, the, like the coating from the top of, on, that surrounds the seed, it's the seed coat. I'm gonna, that's coating the seed, I'm gonna wash that off. All right, so once you have your seeds, like so. All right, so once I have the seeds, I wanna try to remove the rest of the top coating from the seed. And you do that by placing them in water overnight. Just place them in water for about 24 hours. All right, so you could take a regular cannon jar and you could put them in here like that i'm gonna show you that in a minute or if you don't have a jar you could just take a bowl like this a dish and place some saran wrap over the top of it so nothing gets inside of it and just store that for 24 hours and then you'll rinse them off and dry them out for a day but i'm gonna go ahead and take them and pour them in my jar. Got two of them in there. Okay. And we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. So I just finished rinsing off the seeds. They have actually been soaking for about two days. I, and they have started germinating they started sprouting in the water so as you can see the seeds from the grocery store can actually sprout those little white specks that you see coming out of the seed that is the roots coming out of the seed right there so that seed right there is ready to go and it can be planted sorry my husband is watching family feud but these seeds are ready to go guys ready to be planted you also can grow ginger. This is a ginger root. Plant this in some soil, some potting soil, and um, you're good to go. So you wanna plant this at least about an inch deep, or uh, an inch and a, about an inch deep. This is a pretty big root. So an inch to an inch and a half deep, you would wanna plant something like that. Then we have some celery, right? This is some celery. This celery will regrow. All you would need to do is um, place this in a little bit of water and let the roots start growing out. You can cut the top off here and then stick it into the potting soil and this celery root will regrow for you. So what'll happen is it will look Something similar to, let me take this off because that looks absolutely crazy. Let's take this off. The celery will look similar to this onion. So here I have an onion that has started regrowing and here's the roots coming out of it. And I would just take this where the roots are coming out and put this part in the soil. All right, so they have roots under here and roots coming out of the plant here. And this 
is more onions. And all of this is edible. Once you bury this part, all of this will be edible, okay? So you can have onions, celery, tomato, bell pepper. Now we're gonna take a look at what else you could be growing. Okay, so let's take a look at some beans. So here I have some beans and these are lentils, okay? So here we have some lentils, all right? And this is what they look like. And you could grow you some lentils if you wanted to. You could grow you some mung beans. These are mung beans here, okay? I have a video on how to grow mung bean sprouts, which are really, really super good for you. And I'll leave that in the I card above. Then you have a southern staple, black eyed peas. You could definitely grow some black eyed peas and plant you some plants of black eyed peas in your garden. And we have the red bean. You could definitely grow you some red beans and plant red beans in your garden. What else do we have? Here I have um, black beans. Here are black beans. You can grow black beans in your garden. <laughs> and we have pinto beans. You can definitely grow pinto beans in your garden, okay? Now let's look at some uh, seeds. All right, so here I have some seeds. You can look in your cabinet and see what seeds you have already in your cabinet. These are mustard seeds. There are black mustard seeds and then there are these yellow mustard seeds. Now these yellow mustard seeds, they would take quite a while. Um, you would take, it would take quite a few plants to grab, you know, make you some mustard, but the plant is an edible plant. All right, so here we have another bean. These are garbanzo beans, chickpeas. So you could grow some chickpeas. Now look, you can have any type of dry bean um, in your pantry. You can grow you some beans. All right, so here we have some millet and this is a whole grain. It's not sprouted or anything like that. Now, millet would take uh, more than likely quite a few plants to grow some millet, but you can grow some millet as a grain. I have those to harvest. So it's definitely possible to get a garden growing right where you are, in a container or right outside your door. And you can sacrifice perhaps a plant that you're growing in your home, um, or you wanna transfer that plant into another container as a temporary measure so that you can use the soil that you already have. Um, you can go outside, you can go to the woods, you can find soil that you already have available around you and use that as a means to start your garden. So there are ways to definitely start a garden without spending any money at all. Get creative, think outside the box, and guys, get out there and get growing. And let me know what you can start in your home right now in your cabinets. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.